Okay, today we were working on making a new package tray for the Mustang. As you can see, this is the old package tray that came out of it. And uh, package tray, speaker rack, you know, whatever you want to call it that goes back in the back of the car underneath the uh, back windshield. And as you can see, this one is uh, really rough. We thought about, you know, we'd have to customize it anyway. Um, and these legs here on each end would have to be brought in more to uh, work around the new wheel toes, which are bigger than the stock ones that, you know, mounted up here. But this thing is uh, really rough, and you can see on the back side of it, uh, a lot of heavy rust on it. And these things aren't cheap new. They're, to get a reproduction one, I believe, is about 200 bucks. So we just decided to make one. Okay, so the first thing we did was, we're gonna make this out of uh, uh, 18 gauge sheet metal and uh, we're gonna make it in two pieces, a right side and a left side. And the first thing we did was we made uh, one, one piece of one side and uh, just made a template out of cardboard, getting that fit in there and uh, you know, use that as a starting point. The, um, so, taking a look closer here, uh, we made another section which I'm, I don't have shown here uh, out of cardboard that attaches here just a flat sheet that comes down to here and covers that area up and uh, so that that's kind of the first step okay to make sure we're getting the car the package tray to sit level and parallel with the car we used our protractor here to get the level of the car sitting on the rocker panel um, you know, because that's a should be a perfectly horizontal part of the car if it was sitting on the ground level. We just want the plane of the uh, package tray to match the plane of the rocker panel. As you can see, it's pretty well at zero degrees there. Zoom in. All right, so here is the cardboard, and you can see the, the package tray has a bend and an angle on it, and we used a joint in the cardboard to simulate that. And uh, so we've matched this up to get the right angle here on this bin and used our protractor to again match up to the uh, level of uh, the uh, rocker panel. All right so we took our template and put that on to some 18 gauge uh, cold rolled sheet metal and cut out the template and this represents one half of the uh, package tray. Um, we have to put a bend in this we're going to draw a line across there and take it to the chassis shop and borrow their brake and put a perfect bend in that to, again, match up to the original one that we looked at earlier. And you can see that 90 degree bend where it makes the transition down into the uh, full bend of the car. All right, there's our right and left uh, pieces of our two-piece package tray laid out on the floor and uh, we've got to uh, go and uh, get it bent on a brake. We'll use James B's brake and bend that over and get a perfect bend on it. And uh, you can see the relief in the bottom section here. That's for the trans tunnel, uh, just to work around that. But uh, pretty straightforward, easy little project. And we should have it finished up by tomorrow night. Okay, so we're gonna draw a line here to uh, figure out how to get the brake laid out. We want to lay both pieces out together and get the line drawn across all at the same time and that way we get a consistent uh, break across both pieces of sheet. 